the TW200. It's slow, has suspension that seems like it's made out of PVC tubing, and basically can't be ridden aggressively without jarring the rider's inside so much that he, she suffers a concussion just from riding itself. Why is this bike so popular? Why are people still buying a machine that essentially hasn't changed since 1987? Surprisingly, there's lots of reasons, but I think this bike's do-anything attitude and non-intimidating charm are probably the biggest reasons, and also that price. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but hear me out. I don't like this bike, and for one simple reason, I'm six foot seven, 250 pounds. If you're close to my size, avoid this bike. It's if anybody is wondering, TW 200s don't work well for six foot seven people. It simply will not work for you, no matter how you modify it. When I bought this bike, it came with Pro Taper Raptor bars installed, which are extremely tall handlebars, and it was still way too cramped for me. Another thing I don't like is that this bike can't really be ridden aggressively, and I like harder trails and riding a little faster than what this bike is capable of doing. Surprisingly, weight-wise, it actually carries me fine though. So why the hell did I buy this bike then? Well, for my wife. She wants to start hitting single track and trails in general with us. This isn't her first bike though. I actually had another WR250R that I lowered for her to use, but it was still too tall, too big, and had too much power for her. So this is her first off-road motorcycle that she's comfortable with, and how does she like it? Well, she thinks it's butt ugly, but she loves the fact that it opens the door to more adventures in her life. Also, just as a quick reference, she's five foot five, and I actually asked her to give me a few pros and cons to share with you all, and this is what she came up with. A few things she likes about it. She loves the fact that she can touch the ground on both sides. She also likes that she feels more in control of the bike, unlike her last bike. And she says at lower speeds, it handles really well. The only thing that she said she didn't like is the fact that she's not comfortable riding highway with it. Because it's so underpowered and it feels like the motor is going to blow up at those speeds. It won't though. <laughs> These things are absolute tanks. Uh, just ask my wife about that. Oh, you're good. You're good. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Caleb! <laughs> oh, you're good. Nice. Way to get out of the way for it. Now, that's great and all, but that still doesn't answer why the hell people are still buying this machine. Having ridden this bike myself, quite extensively actually, and having lots of experience riding loads of different dual sports and dirt bikes, I think I can shed a little light on why I think this bike sells so well. I personally think it's because they're unkillable tanks. As long as you do basic maintenance, you'll never have an issue with it. And I also think it's because this bike will take you anywhere with ease, regardless of your skill level. With my WR250R or old DRZ400, you have to have great clutch control, balance, throttle control, etc. Otherwise, those bikes can really hurt you, which, ironically, I have proof of. Oh! Ow! That really hurt and they don't like to be ridden real slow, and they simply require more energy to ride in general because they're taller and heavier, whereas the TW is quite the opposite. It's super low to the ground, super easy to balance, super easy to ride really slow, doesn't require a lot of energy to ride, and it basically just floats over any obstacle you throw at it, <laughs> like couches. You can just sit your butt on the seat and effortlessly go anywhere you want. And that's partially because of the big ATV-like tires that seem to be an extension of the suspension itself, helping absorb big bumps. Partially because of the super low weight figure, and partially because even the shortest of people can still touch both feet on the ground. With those floaty tires and low weight, sand. 
Oh, dude, you bet. Especially with the floaty tires. This is actually easier than it is on the WR. Okay, so TW200 in sand is awesome. Mud. Water crossings. Kayla, it's all you. Just give her the beans. Yeah! Dirt. Anything you throw at this bike, it will eat. And it will do it with total ease. That's the appeal of this bike. Anyone of any skill level can hop on it and go anywhere. If you don't try and push the limits with this machine, you'll never need another bike for off-roading. You wouldn't need one. If you like this video, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It inspires me to keep pumping out content like this. Thank you all so much for watching, and please ride safe.